December 22nd is evaluation day. And that is the day in which the evaluation is made whether to remove the race of beings who we call the I am race, whom you call the human race. This is judgment day, but not judgment day from the God of good and evil that you know in religion. Judgment day, evaluation day, is to whether with this tremendous infusion of light that comes next year, is it still necessary to remove the human race so this planet can be reconstructed? Or can reconstruction of the planet called Earth occur with this beautiful human race remaining upon it? That is the divine plan. That is why every prophet, every Christ, every Buddha, every Renaissance master, everyone who's ever came and made a difference, all have been moving towards this cosmic march in time. The original plan, dear hearts, when this divine plan was written tens of thousands of years ago, it was said, because I know there's only seven billion of you on the earth, but there's ten billion of you. Three billion of you are constantly moving up and down, going through the change called birth and death. So three billion of you are living in the plains of bliss, waiting for embodiment. And of the ten billion, well, the math states that 10 million, of 10 billion souls, at least 10 million must wake up, return to the divine way of live life, become the God beings, by the way, the last teacher. From our point of view, the last cosmic teacher who would come and teach and prove and demonstrate. He taught he proved by his miracles and he demonstrated publicly upon the hill of Bethany his ascension. The record is there. No matter how many wars they build in Palestine to cover over the record of his ascension. It's real. So I say to you dear hearts, in the original divine plan to make this divine plan work of the 10 billion souls incarnate on the planet there would be ha there would have to be 10 million that would begin to wake up come out of the hypnosis come out of the fear-based teachings discover even in the Jewish faith at least in the Jewish and Christian faith there are some remnants of the teachings of the tree of life and those famous words I am that I am that's the teachings but that's where it stops so I'm going to bring this part of the evening home right now and say to you have faith no matter how difficult it seems no matter how dark and how much this planet trembles and shakes, there's not a moment she's not shaking. Albeit, in the last three weeks, we have seen a 15% decrease in the trembling of your planet, yet it's still constant. And that decrease has happened because people are doing what they ought to have been doing long ago. It is a tragedy, I say, when people turn to God because they're in trouble. People ought to turn to God in their joy for the celebration of life. Yet nonetheless, here it is. Permission has been granted. <laughs>